Hello there. Today I will show you the gameplay using black powder rifles. Since I run commander build, I can easily adapt it for them. Just in a moment you will see my perk loadout, but as well I will leave a link on my full build in the comment section, including my armor, mutations and everything else. And speaking of buffs, I try to boost my agility to be more sneaky and perception for what's. That's right, with these noisy boys you can play from stealth attacks. First, let's check perks I used. I suggest you to stick with concentrated fire in case if you need to react faster than you do without watts, but if you are pro, of course better to swap it for glow inside. Adrenaline is almost useless, so better go with dodge and ricochet will help as well. Just try to be more tanky. And now our paid actors. Instigating with 10% more damage while aiming. Bloated with the same secondary effect to compare with instigating rifle. Anti-armor with watts crit. And finally, the legendary dragon. In the left corner will be a version of rifle, B for bloodied. Well, damage sucks. <laughs> okay, let's try the dragon. I think she forgot to load. Yeah, 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 she forgot to load balls. Okay. Will you die today? Not here. Maybe, maybe, yes, maybe. Have something. Okay. Okay, now instigating. And check the arrow on your right. Let's compare the damage. Well, the difference is not that big. Let's stick with instigating. If you have it, but don't have bloated, you can always use it for the first shot. Anyway, you will need few rifles on you, because they break pretty fast. Speaking of damage here, I think I didn't hit the head. Now let's try what's. By the way, I don't have red away on me, so I will go very very bloody at the end. Now about tactics. With mobs level 50-60, you can use the dragon or under armor version to one shoot them. After every shot, you need to go back a little bit, exit and enter sneak mode to get out of their vision. It won't work always and may always more rats, but still there is a way to deal sneak attacks the whole time, even at mid-range. If you stay after the shot, they can spot you, so just few steps away and you will be safe. I actually love the concept to get lost while reloading. And with the dragon, it's more easy to aim actually. Ok, let's complete the event and do some more shooting at more healthy mini healths. Speaking of being sneaky sneaky at very close distance, watch me. That is why I boosted my agility. You can be a noisy assassin who silently gets closer and closer and then BAM! Maybe it is an underpower weapon, but so funny one. The problem with single shot weapons is in the actual register of damage on the server. If it is a lucky one, you can miss, though you clearly shot at the mob. Watts works differently, since it is an auto-aim cheat, so everyone can decide for himself how to play the game. I frankly love to hang a headshot from miles away, but my relationship with Amazon servers has never been on good terms. Here is another example of the problem. The mob was somewhere else, that is why I missed. You see? With Watts anyway you need to use the same tactic, give a shot, step back, maybe wait if you are in danger and then give another shot. Look at the brackets, the closer they are to hidden, the more chances you will have to get caution. And if you take a shot in caution, you will be in danger pretty fast. It is all depends on your gear and agility. That is why you need to boost your agility always if your gameplay is based on sneak attacks. Do you play differently with this type of rifles? Let me know anyway. But now let's try another type of mobs. For example, robots. Here is once again, anti-armor may be too shot and the dragon is enough for level 50 and I suppose 60 at close range. Of course, in was you can hit weak spots and it will be easier. It's bloated or instigating rifles, there is no problem with Gatsis, Protocrons, Robobrains, but sentry bolts and Assaultrons are way tougher. 
with distance the damage in com and outcom are lower so try to keep a distance if you can i'm almost dead but i still can tank something and that is why here you better use a defensive perk instead of adrenaline okay he's dead now let's hunt a scorched beast i used bats because i was almost out of balls and some lagging was going on i think like powder rifles can be useful actually Whenever you got bored of your fixer and same daily routine, just swap perks and try them. I just told you exactly what do you need, but anyway, I would love to see your opinions in the comment section. Maybe I'm missing something, since it was my very first hour using these monsters. Explosives ones might be the best option, but they break super fast, so what's the point to use repair kits every 10 shots or something? I don't actually know, but I've heard that they break like this. Is it true? Whenever I got a whole bunch of gamma rounds, I will show you a cool pistol build to enjoy Fallout like never before. I mean not like a specific build, just swapping cards with not equip some of them and it's all about that. <laughs> Your build can start and end with a right weapon. It can be a two-shot explosive flamer, mini gun shooting mini nukes, or in my case quad ammo capacity fast fire at gamma gun. I recently made a daily opposite. <laughs> And there is a video actually. Okay, let's finish here and the video. Thank you. I'll see you later.